We're standing in a really old orchard looking at some of the older varieties of apples that we've been working on, looking at the analysis of the components that are present in the apples. Well, we've been looking at eight different healthy ingredients that are present in apples and we decided to look at different varieties, specifically the older varieties, um, which tend to be a little bit more bitter maybe than the current varieties that are available, um, which have been tend to be bred more for sweetness and their perfection in terms of shape. And we also looked at um, apples that were grown organically, comparing them to non-organically grown apples. There was a big difference between the organic and the non-organic. Some of the levels of the compounds that we looked at, for example, that have an effect on blood sugar levels or lipid lowering effects or maybe cardiovascular disease, were several thousand times higher in the organic apples compared to the non-organic apples. So there was a big difference between organic and non-organic. In fact, there were three of the compounds that we looked at specifically that um, weren't present in the non-organic apples at all, especially for Idzi which is important in terms of controlling blood sugar. This is an example of the older type of apple that we looked at, probably several hundred years old. It hasn't been changed since the, 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 the time the apple was originally developed. In this particular apple we found really high levels of fluoridzin, which is the compound that helps to control blood sugar, chlorogenic acid which has a beneficial effect on uh, cardiovascular disease, things like epicatechin and catechin, uh, cumaric acid, um, all of the types of compounds that we're presenting at the, the paper on at the Pharmaceutical Society conference on Wednesday. I would say try and eat as diverse a variety of apple as you possibly can, preferably organically grown and maybe from your local organic supplier where they tend to have apples that are in season when they're in season rather than the types of apples that are produced all year round to suit our modern requirement for sweet taste. <laughs>